Hello my fellow courtroom companions. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about what it's like living with a narcissist. You might be a little unsure whether you are living with one but may have suspected it. So I'm just going to give you a couple of like things to look for uh, in terms of whether or not you're living with a narcissist and then the two things I'm going to share with you that are really key leads into the third thing which is what is the result of those two sort of characteristics of living with a narcissist. What does that bring to you? Um, so before I get into the video, I would just like to remind you to please subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button and the bell notification so that you're notified of when I upload videos. Okay, so let's get right into it. So what is it like living with a narcissist? So the first thing that I will tell you is that it's all about him or her. Everything in the house revolves around his needs her needs um, or the narcissist's interest and so this means that your weekends are filled up um, with their activities their interests uh, there's not much space left for you uh, so that is like a, a real key ingredient it also means that when it comes to family time with his family or your your family um, his family typically will be the people that come over uh, because it's all about his needs and if he desires to see his family then that's who's going to come over and if you try to insert maybe having family time with some of your family there's usually going to be a fight that will uh, take place and again I'm speaking from my own experience that living with a narcissist means that your needs and your interests and family take a back seat. Uh, also, when we're talking about living with a narcissist, the holiday time is not really equitable. Usually the narcissist family is the one that will, will be in, invited over typically. Uh, if you try to invite your family, there's always a, a big fight about it. And it's because the narcissist believes that his needs, what he wants and desires, is first and foremost. So what would typically happen is around holiday time, trying to negotiate, you know, who's coming over versus it, it usually won't end well because that would mean that the narcissist would have to take into consideration what you desire as well. And they just can't do that. It's not about you, it's about them. Also, in terms of being all about him, if there's any free time, which it's not usually, that free time is spent doing also what he wants. So let's say there's an afternoon where you're not involved in some activity or interest of his and you have an afternoon free, say on a Sunday, you sit down to watch a movie. The movie's going to be what he wants to do. So it's just a clear indication if you find yourself, you know, sort of in a position of living with someone where your needs and desires always take a back seat chances are you are living with a narcissist. Another indication that you might be living with a narcissist is if you can't trust them. And this doesn't necessarily mean cheating necessarily, although it could. You can't trust what they say. You, you know, there's a lot of lying, I would even say pathological lying, about everything. They try to rewrite history. They try to make you feel a little bit crazy and I and an, I'll link another video um, above about some of the characteristics of narcissists and one of them is this gaslighting I'll link that uh, above um, you might want to take a look at that after this video um, they will try to make you feel crazy and so you begin to not be able to trust what they say um, and trying to negotiate anything with them leaves you feeling really crappy because they will literally stand in front of you and lie about an event that happened when you know deep down about the way that that event occurred but they will stand there and lie right to your face and try to rewrite history and so you begin to feel like you can't even really go to this person for anything, even even a small conversation about anything because you can't trust what they say. They just lie. Pathologically lying is like a huge sign that you're living with a narcissist. So those are sort of the two main characteristics that you can look at to see if you're actually living with a narcissist. But what does that mean for you, the person who's not a narcissist living with a narcissist? It means that your life is in total chaos all the time living with someone who displayed narcissistic tendencies 
left my life feeling very, very chaotic. I couldn't figure out how to change it because it wasn't within me to change other than to leave. This, this person that I was living with was, he changed his mind constantly. My weekends were filled with all of his interests. I felt like my life had to fit in to this small frame of time, this small window of time. I remember, you know, I would go to work and the only time I had free from the chaos was on my drive to work and on my drive home. And I would literally, it was 30 minutes one way and 30 minutes the other. And I had to like call my friends or call my mom or call, my life had to be fit into that small window of time of my commute back and forth. Because the moment I would step foot in my house, it was all about him. And we were running from one activity to the next all the time. So the laundry would pile up, the groceries wouldn't be purchased. You know, there was just constant chaos all the time because there was never enough time spent at home to actually do these important things like planning meals or grocery shopping. It was just total chaos because in my opinion, he was chasing his narcissistic supply. He would be in this church activity, that church activity. He would sign up for this sports event. He was running side businesses. And so everything revolved around him. And so the normal day-to-day -day stuff didn't get done and it would pile up and it just felt very chaotic. I'm typically a very organized person, but I couldn't live that life. I couldn't live the organized, peaceful life that I wanted to live because there was no space for me. There was no space for what I desired or, or the way that I wanted to live. And so um, it just felt very, very chaotic. So if you find that your partner cannot incorporate any of your desires into your life or into your life with that person, then chances are you're living with a narcissist. And so um, one thing that you can do is begin to put up better boundaries. So for example, if your partner fills up your weekends for the two of you doing all of his stuff, you can start small and say, you know, I'm not going to go to that event. I'm going to I'm going to plan our menus and I'm going to go to the grocery store. Now, if that person's a narcissist, he's not going to like that boundary and he's going to try to make you feel guilty. He's going to try to pick a fight with you. But the best thing that you can do is stand your ground and say, no, I need to do this. I need to plan our menus because I don't like eating on the fly. I don't like going to, to out to eat all the time. I need this for my own sanity. So no, I'm not going to this event. And he or she may not talk to you for a few days. If, if your narcissist was like the person I live with, they won't talk to you for a few days. But to me, I would rather have him not talk to me for a couple of days. First of all, it gave me a peace of mind for a couple of days. But second, it also allowed me to do something that was important to me. And so just start small. Start setting clear, small boundaries, and then you can build on those boundaries over time. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Just, you know, if, if you're a person that you're living with, it's all about them, and you can't trust them, and you feel like your life is in total chaos, chances are you're living with a narcissist. And the best thing to do is to start to set small boundaries with yourself and stick to them. Okay? Thank you for stopping by. Please leave a comment below and please do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.